President Obama is bringing Harvard professor Henry Louis Gates Jr. and police sergeant James Crowley to the White House this evening for a cold beer and a discussion of race relations. CBS News chief White House correspondent Chip Reed joins us with more. Good morning, Chip. Well, good morning, Harry. You know, this meeting was actually Sergeant Crowley's idea. He suggested it to the president. Now all three men will sit around the picnic table on the White House South Lawn and what the White House says it will be a casual meeting and try to learn something from each other and to de-escalate tensions over race. Uh, race is still a troubling aspect of our society. After accusing police of acting stupidly for arresting a Harvard professor in his own home, President Obama came under fire. Now he's trying to turn a political misstep into a teachable moment, inviting the two men at the center of the controversy to the White House this evening for a beer. Meanwhile, the woman who made the 911 call to police on Professor Gates, Lucia Whelan, spoke out for the first time. It was a target of scorn and ridicule because of the things I never said. The criticism hurt me as a person. Some conservatives are directing their attacks at the president, even calling him a racist. And Rush Limbaugh made a veiled reference at race when talking about a food recall. The White House dismissed the talk as nothing more than TV and radio hosts trying to boost their ratings with conservative audiences. So how exactly does the president plan to turn this meeting into a teachable moment? Will there be any follow-up? Well, that is still unclear. The White House says the only thing on the formal agenda is cold beer. Harry. <laughs> Chip Reed at the White House this morning. Thank you. Also following the beer summit this morning, CBS News Chief Washington correspondent and host of Face the Nation, Bob Schieffer. What do you make of all of this? Well, I mean, the president says he hopes this is going to be a teachable moment. And I think the teachable moment here is it underlines what happens when someone says something they didn't mean to say and they step back and say, you know, I probably shouldn't have said that, Meaning which is the what president. the president did. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I mean, what you had, you had a scholar who popped off when he shouldn't have. You have a policeman who let it get under his skin when he shouldn't have. And then the president stepped out and talked about it. Uh, you know, and uh, before he got all the facts. So uh, just look what happened, though, mm -hmm. after the president said, you know, I probably shouldn't have done that. Harry, think about how many car wrecks, how many shootings, how many marriages, for that fact, uh, might have been saved if one of the people involved had just said, you know, I didn't mean to say what, what I said, uh, and I shouldn't have. I, I think he took all the air out of it. I think what happens today at the White House is sort of anticlimactic. Mm. I think the fact that the president arranged this, and that they're all coming, I, th I think that's what was important here. All right. The, the other thing that seems to be overshadowed by the beer summit is this health care process, and the poll numbers show erosion in, among the public for uh, the president's health care proposals. Is this thing going to get done, and is it going to look anything like it looks right now? Uh, I think uh, the answer is to the all those <laughs> questions are, Harry. No one uh, can say with certainty. I think you are right to say that when you look at it in the long uh, term, I think probably health care reform is probably a little more important than what happens there uh, than what happens at the White House today. But, you know, uh, the fact that the public uh, can't seem to make up its mind what it thinks about this, I think is just reflective of the fact that nobody knows. There are so many of these different plans float floating around on Capitol Hill right now. Nobody really knows what's in them. No one knows how this thing's going to look at the end. Uh, I think we're just at the beginning of this debate on health care, not at the end. Yeah. All right. Bob Schieffer, thanks very much. No Lone Star, yeah. no Shinerbach, though, at the uh, beer summit tonight. We're a little disappointed about that. <laughs> Take care.